Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 69. Let's go ahead and get started. Come to think of it, about what we discussed a while back. Have you looked into Princess Dodolia? You want to know? Mm -hmm. When you received the letter from Princess Dodolia at the Academy, you said there was something odd about her, right? You said she was different from the princess you remembered in your past life. I did. When you asked me to marry you at first, I found it rather odd. You said I was supposed to marry the seventh princess, did you not? I can't believe he remembers that. There may be other reasons as to why my marriage partner has changed, but I did carry out an investigation under the assumption that princess died from our blood and came back to life. Mm -hmm. Do you mean to say that the princess died from poison? There's no reason to poison her, since she far back in line to the throne. Perhaps she's been gathering poison herself. She was sick for quite a long time, after all. Oh. I had no idea someone who's long been a bedridden might think that way. No wonder. My father also resorted to strong medicine, although it wasn't poison. It isn't entirely impossible if she died during the period of exception. Everyone who died in this period seems to have memories of their past life. Period of exception. Early spring. Assassin at the parade. You died in the countdown. End of festival. Full bloom. As Letty died at Gin's house. Presumed dead from seizures. Condition same as others. Those who died of poison came back in time to this point. Poison doesn't work on them anymore, and they hold memories of the past. I don't know exactly when you went back in time. But when I looked into the princess, I found nothing strange except for her, the fact that she miraculously woke up in bed. And while taking care of Gen's deed, I looked into the list of buyers, but there was nothing about the princess or those who are related to her or her whereabouts. That's why I decided to look at this from a different angle. I've been looking for different cases since I heard you, you and this lady came back to life. Cases of those who came back in time. You must have experienced deja vu regarding their situation surroundings, and even the seasons. They must have done something they otherwise wouldn't have to avoid death when it drew near. I secretly asked all the residence managers of my cousin's estates to tell me if there was anyone acting strangely last spring. The doctors who had left earlier are also cooperating. It does seem rather foolish to rely on such superstitious matters, but when the results came in... Mom? Huh? Mom? Your Grace? Is now an okay time? I have something I'd like to discuss. What's wrong? My in-laws are obsessed with me. My baby's waking up from his nap, so I might have to pause. Episode 69 A friend invited me to his house. Could you both kindly join me? Oh. A friend invited Selfie over? Oh. He's so shocked, and he's so happy. Are you sure this is alright? Of course, it's just for a moment, is it not? Focus, Parashati. 
is more important than family matters or a ball. <laughs> We're going to be seeing another family as parents. Viscount Otis, Viscountess Otis. Oh, welcome, Your Grace. Your Graces. Ah, oh, Marvin Otis. Hey, Zelfius. <laughs> You've already met my husband and son, haven't you? First, let us show you to our dining room. <laughs> so, that's how we came to have a small parental gathering. That's so cute. Oh, Max and T. Marvin said we absolutely must invite Selfius. Thank you for coming today. Um, I was wondering who Marvin took Le took after. And he looks just like the both of you. And his cleverness, too. I've heard a lot about you. Oh my. I'd like to say the same thing about Selfius. Since spring, uh, Marvin has only been talking about him. Ooh, awkward. About what you discussed before. We're going to send the official document soon. Would that be enough? Yes. All the consoles I would know about the newspaper. Elias is a very influential influential city after all and it's a cultural city that's captured the interest of societies all over the world more importantly there were articles claiming that the empire is seizing land ra rather impractically and consoles from protected states seems to agree i'm not particularly against the claim either but there's a party held at an em embassy within the empire it would cause quite the scene if His Majesty hears of this. Uh, must you keep discussing work here, dear? BRB. Okay. Sorry, he kind of... He woke up and he rolled around and he kind of... Hit his head a little bit onto his little crib railing and... He's not a little happy. He's a little upset right now, but... Okay, let's continue reading, Bubba. Right here. But the children are in the other room. This is our house, and it's safe here. It's efficient in many ways to discuss it now that we have the chance. Honey, work is the only thing you discussed even while we're dining with the children. As parents, we took this time to meet on this fine weekend. Must you truly discuss such solemn matters here? You're right. You're making our guests feel uncomfortable. They aren't talking or even making eye contact. My sincerest apologies. I truly apologize. Oh. What should we do? It's fine. <laughs> it's not right, Parashai. This smile looks so awkward. Indeed. That's so funny and cute. Uh, let us show you to Marvin's room. They seem to be happily married. This is exactly why I was worried about meeting another family. We might seem rather strange in their eyes. Hmm? <laughs> His eyes, you see like... Huh? Oh. Oh. I mean... Oh, they hesitated. Oh. The holding hands. <gasps> oh. Is this all right? Oh. <laughs> Your Grace, you're so fortunate to have such beautiful pink hair. Pardon? Well, pink hair is rather rare. Is that so? Father? Uncle? And everyone in society marvels at your beauty. Read any recent newspaper and you'll see the press is on your side. So please don't trouble yourself over the trial. 
trial newspapers. So he knew, but why didn't he ever give me a hint? Mom! Delphi, that's... It's fine. It's a gift. This is nothing compared to the reading desk and ancient books you gave us, but... We look forward to seeing you again. Almost time, Baba. Is this right? I feel like I mustn't grow used to this. Oh, my poor Papa. I love Papa. Almost done. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.